All right, guys. Hey, here came to the snowmobile race. I've I'm not racing myself, but this one's close by, and uh, so I thought, let's just you know, I'm 15 minutes from the farm. I'll just show up, <clears throat> say hi to a couple buddies, and then uh, um, and then get to work. So what we do when we race here, the whole goal is just pure miles an hour. We don't care about ET, you don't care about nothing. You got some guys, they roll off the line for 100 feet, so he did 112 miles an hour. <laughs> and uh, some of these old vintage. <laughs> but yeah, it's just purely in your class of who gets the top speed and and have at it it's 1,000 feet 1,000 feet and then they got a couple thousand feet of shutdown it's all about the wind you look at the fast sleds how sleek they're just sleek they just slip through the wind we'll use more horsepower at 130 to move the air than to move the track it uh, pretty amazing I'll make a video this summer building the, the race slip, but you see the little orange line? He's got a lube, got to lube the track. So you don't get friction between the high facts and the track. Friction, friction is the enemy. classes for snowmobiles without studs they're not very fast and it takes them forever to get down there but 60 miles an hour still might get you first place in some classes it's recorded already all right from weekend to weekend uh, the humidity affects how the sled cuts through the air temperature and all that so the guy we come back we just take our clutch apart and uh, and then we just change spring settings and helixes through the assortment and just keep trying different stuff to tune for the day Not a bad run, that was a complete new setup. One fifty three, a hundred and fifty three on a chassis sled. That's impressive. One fifty. 
51.